Welcome back to NRL Fantasy, you guys. Here we are for a big round, round 18. So all the origin stuff's done, apart from the chance of a few guys backing up or not. But here we are for our trade. So we're really trying to build into a final 17 or 18 now. Getting really strong teams together, as I'm sure you'll see with our people squad, with what we've uh, we've come up with this week, uh, and also the trades in my team as well. So we're sitting really nicely, 653 in the overall ranking there. Eight trades remaining now after we've used two this week and 185k in the bank. So still leaving a little bit if we're looking to get you know Cleary back or something like that. Um, but if we do, I think we probably have to make uh, one or two cash outs just so we can drop down one of these uh, you know mid range players to a cheapie to be able to upgrade elsewhere when there happens to be an injury or something like that. I think that's going to be the best way for us to get a Cleary rather than trading out a, like a because they're going to be have to be trading out like an 800 850k player to get a Cleary. So I think we have to wait for an injury <clears throat> before being able to bring him back in. But that's obviously a bunch of weeks away. So, yeah, 185k in the bank still enough to, to get us going. But we decided to move Braley on um, to Ben Hunt for a starter. So a really nice upgrade there. Looks like he'll be playing tonight. Um, if it's a close game, I imagine he plays a full 80. If they're winning comfortably, then I think um, he might get a little bit of a rest. But if they're winning comfortably, he should be scoring well. So that's that one there. And we've also decided to bring Reed Marnie, and we've decided to go with Peachy, you know, getting the boot in this one. The only issue with this one, it's obviously a really, really good trade upgrade uh, to get Marnie at 661 when he was up around that 900k mark early in the season uh, after a couple of uh, lower games, obviously the injury, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, really happy with the upgrades. We're just left with uh, no center cover. So Ramian and Avril. So, but, yeah, with, with the centers, they're not the, the most expensive. So... If there happens to be an issue, we can just trade uh, to get a center uh, with one of those guys. They're not going to be getting rested or dropped or anything. It's just going to be the fact if there's a suspension or injury. So having eight trades remaining, I think, will will help us enough uh, for that. But we get a better scorer in Reed. So team's looking really strong. Ben Hunt, Papali'i Haas, and Tamalolo. Crichton for feeder. Johnson Hughes. be nice to probably have like a DCE, but I'm you know, really happy with those two. Raymond Navarillo, Walsh, Teddy Hines. And then we have Teddy as our fourth uh, wing fullback, which is great. So we really don't have to trade any of these guys until Hines uh, gets the boot. But then you've got Moses as our half cover. We've got Schuster as edge cover. You know, Mane as a hooker cover with, with Watson there as the, as the sort of mid slash hooker cover. And then Tyson Gamble's been scoring really well. And I'm probably looking to play Gamble this week. They're up against the Tigers, and he's been scoring really well in general. You know, really strong sort of three to five game average there as to why he's making so much money too. Um, and I thought Schuster is out number five. So with them playing tonight, I'm going to leave him there. And if he scores well, we can move uh, one of these guys to the sixth position and, and move up like a Trebojevic or, a, a, sorry, it would have to be a Taf. Yeah, because he plays later in the week. We can put him up into the four position. I suppose the question is going to be who would we who would we leave out? And I suppose out of the team we're looking at here, it's probably going to be a Watson. They do a play against the Storm. So Watson or Gamble, I imagine. And, you know, Moses and Mane, you'd probably like to play. This week, they are up against the Titans, so should be a fairly solid game. Uh, I know that Will Smith's on the bench this week, and I imagine that'll be to cover Moses for a shorter game time. So for me, Moses could be the one they end up leaving out. But yeah, I suppose it's a pretty good um, issue to have, that we have 18 really good players that should be scoring 45-plus um, heading into this week. I suppose that you know, the, if Crichton or Haas or any of these guys don't back up, then then that uh, gets rid of that issue. But that's the um, that's the team, guys. Let me know your thoughts on that. I think it's really, really strong. There's not too many upgrades more to make, and then it'll just be suspensions and injuries from here. You know, if you're looking at the side, there's only guys like Ponga, um, DCE, Cleary, Toe Harris eventually in the next few weeks. There might be really solid pickups. But other than that, I think we've got the majority of the really strong players. So, yeah, team's in a really good place. 653 rank, lose two trades, eight left. That's where we're at. So that's that one. And we'll move along to my squad. I did use two trades also, and... And this week was about bringing in some of the guns. So I do have a lot of sort of 550 to 650k players. And I decided to move on, like having 590k, I think, in the bank. So uh, bring brought in Hunt for Braley in that one as well. And also brought in Payne Haas. So hope, hopefully he backs up. You know, they do have a few extra days, which is surprising for, for a Broncos outfit. that usually plays on Thursday or Friday night. But what do you reckon the theory is here that they always play on Friday night or Thursday? But then, because Origins on the Wednesday, they're like they they've uh, worked it out that they can play on the Sunday. What do you what are your thoughts on that? Let me let me know. I reckon that's very much on the money. Um, but yeah, so brought in Payne Haas as well. So I actually decided to move on Lucy. So the question was going to be, do I move on a Madison, a Corey Harawira, Naira, or a Schuster? And I decided to lean with 
uh, with Lucy just for the fact that he is a very, very hit and miss. He's, his last five average isn't very high. His last three is only you know 35 average, which is not good enough. He's lost a fair bit of cash. I just feel like Corey's going to be a little bit more consistent than Lucy. I'd like to, he could have a decent game this week with the Tigers, you know, having a you know a slightly easier game against the Broncos for sure. But just decided that he was the one to go. I just don't see him being closer to a keeper. I just feel like Corey could get a you know, a couple of really big scores. Lucy's not playing the full eighty most games. The only reason he got fifty or last week is because he had a line break and five tackle busts as well. So sure Strive decided to keep just to see how they play him because if he continues as he is he's a 50 plus point scorer and he has the the dual position so i can cover it use him as cover for the edge not that i need edge cover but the half cover is going to be pretty important i think obviously i have avrilo in there as a half center combo but if i happen to get an injury to any of my centers then then i'll have to make sure he's being used there um so that's the that's the theory with that squad at the moment so ben hunt Papali, watson Taumalolo. at this stage um you know Crichton for feeder having for feeder as captain i think is gonna be the smart option this week, you know, him or him or Papa Lee, I think are your two top ones to pick from. Johnson, Foggs, Bird and Manu. I just think Manu, I'm probably going to play him this week just because they play against the Cowboys. I know he should be in the centre position, or depending if, if Teddy uh, starts or not. But in the centre position, I think he'll be able to score well against the Cowboys side who, uh, yeah, no homes as well, which they're pretty well dec decimated at the moment. I think they'll do well. Um, yeah, Bird and Manu. I've decided to stick Avrilo on the, in the five jersey, and, and if he... Yeah, if Schuster, actually, how am I going to do this? Schuster plays first, doesn't he? Yeah, Schuster's going to be in my, um, in my five jersey as well. So I'm going to go for him, just because I'm not exactly sure how he's... Oh, whoops, can't do that because I've got two, two, uh, two things open. But anyway, um, yeah, Schuster in the five jersey there, and if he plays well, I'll um, use his score. And if not, I'll, um, yeah, I'll keep Avril in that four position. But as I said there, Nico Hines, Roger, and Walsh. So the Warriors up against who they got... Penny Panthers, so a little bit of an issue this week having Roger, but I think he'll be traded out as of next week when we pick up Trebojevic, you know, with all that extra cash I still got left. Um, yeah, Avrilo on the bench here with Madison, Corey, and Payne Haas, I think it's a really solid combo there. Could end up moving, I'll just put, um, move Watson to, to Haas's position as well. And then got my three cash outs in the bottom there with Verrills still making a little bit of cash, but Sawali and Taft there. Um, so just gonna try and keep a strong 18. I'll obviously use that cash to upgrade these couple of guys over the next few weeks and and hopefully keep building into the top 1000 obviously a little bit of cash in the in the bank one less trade than the people squad i don't think my team's as good as the people squad right now but if guys like madison um you know really step up and continue to do well i think that yeah manu and bird these kind of guys are going to be my my x factors as as roger was as well last week so we'll, um we'll just have a We'll just work out how they go. We'll see how they go. What do, what do you reckon? Which team's better, guys? I, I definitely think the people's squad's better, but that's that. Um, the two trades this week. Let me know your thoughts uh, as to what you're going with. If you've got any further questions about any other players, obviously did a review on you know, the three positions there, the hook, uh, the mid, and the edge, and then the half, center, and wing fullback. So all your questions should be answered there. Not too many options in terms of cash outs. If you have enough players this week, if you've got 18, 17 players, then... You could pick someone that's you know two twenty eight k and not going to play anymore. If you need to downgrade to upgrade elsewhere, um, but any other any other questions like that, please uh, jump into the Discord. It's the smartest option, or get into the YouTube comments. I'm trying to reply to as many as possible. Um, please hit like, subscribe. Really appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next one. I'm actually going to do a little bit of a preview on all the games so that we can give you my thoughts as to how players should go in terms of fantasy, but also you know just the actual games and see if how test out my footy knowledge um, for the next bunch of rounds as there won't be too many decisions to make fantasy wise with everyone sort of running out of trades and stuff like that. So that's that guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you in the next one. See you later.